Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Lego City Undercover. In the last episode, we made our way into Auburn and we're sort of traveling along the docks of it. And now we're gonna be continuing doing that, of course, just trying to clear out this area as much as we can in today's episode. So let us build something here. We got the call-in point. And what does this have for us? Is this gonna be a car call-in point, I guess? But I thought we had one of those over there. 13 out of 65 and a ton of studs. Awesome, we have unlocked the trasher. Mr. Gold. Oh, I guess we got a lot of gold bricks, so we get the Mr. Gold achievement as well, cool. So I see a number of things going on around these buildings, and I'm just sort of trying to find a way to tackle it that makes sense, right? Because if I do sort of, you know, like, run at everything I see, I end up missing things. So right now I wanna go ahead and just figure out these. Oh, we got a stunt ramp. Don't see many of these. I might wanna try driving off of this. I don't know if you get any kind of bonus for it, but sometimes within the jump of the stunt ramp, you can get some stuff, like, floating in the air. There's a couple more studs. Awesome stuff, that's 14 out of 65 or 15. Very cool, and we unlocked race car driver. So I'll try it just with this van, if I can, if it will drive. Uh, currently it's not, uh, there it goes. But yeah, good stuff there. Already a fantastic start, we're getting a lot of stuff done. But I'm going to launch myself off this ramp if everybody moves out of the way! I don't really know if this will get me anything. Whoa, it was a cool jump, I'll say that much. But there's a ton going on. Uh, what is that on the map right there? Uh, yeah, what is this little spot? I have no clue. Maybe something to the top of this building or the top of the water thing? Is the actual thing working now, maybe? You know, I unlocked the, the red brick that makes it so that I can see things on the, the map or whatever, but it never really worked. Maybe it works now, because, oh, it went away. Did you see that? Maybe only when I get close to things does it work now. Weird. Yeah, and there's a character up there, all right. I thought I saw. Maybe not. There's certainly something up there. Okay. Maybe I can't see everything still, but maybe I can see more. Anyways, I can switch over to Rex and open this bad boy up, see what we get inside. Ooh, it's a color gun changer. I guess I'm lighting up this right here for one reason or another. Uh, might not get me much, because I could have just astronaut jumped up here. But, you know, sometimes taking the normal way we've already found, you know, helps us get from one spot to the other. So this is like sort of a landing area for a uh, flying vehicle. And there isn't too much more I can do with it. But I can open up this. It looks like there's just a rainbow brick inside. But it's worth grabbing. Because like I said, I'm just trying to explore like every little area to every building as much as I can. Because that is what's gonna help me get the most possible studs. Most of this stuff doesn't look useful but it was worth bumping around. What about out front? Uh, Not really looking like it. So, we've already been on the top of the building, we've been up, down, and around it. I think we can move on to the next one. Uh, I do see like a bus booth. I do see this. If I was a firefighter, I can break this open. That's an astronaut. This is the firefighter. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your support on the series so far. It's been awesome to hear that you guys have been enjoying it and you wanna see more. And there's another color gun thing. Okay, I mean, I'll gladly take you up on the offer, I just don't know what I need a red color gun for. Hmm, hopefully something nearby. Oh, this right here. Okay, one out of three. So whenever we see these boxes of cherries, I have not seen a box of cherries anywhere else, but I will surely be looking now. Nothing over here, right? Not looking like it. Whenever you see the color gun symbol, that means there's something up about it. So I gotta poke around now, because I didn't really see that anywhere, but I haven't particularly been looking for it. That's not what I wanted to do. Here, let's hop out of this mode. And punch this. It had nothing. Well, better safe than sorry. Okay, so we'll make our way back this way. And uh, we'll sort of check out what else we can find around here. Ooh, I snuck in. Don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. But this building seems to have a lot to it. It's just a matter of finding what I'm supposed to do for now. Okay, so what's inside this one? Uh, Maybe another garage of some sort? Whoa, there's a whole bunch of nothing in here, but I can build this and jump across this wall? Yes, I can. Whoa, look at us. Okay, that's really cool. I feel like I'm missing some stuff, so I'll have to go back around this building and check it a little bit more, but I'm actually liking this area a little bit more than the Cherry Tree Hills so far. Whoa, whoa, the camera doesn't like me going this way. But I guess there were some studs in, in it for me. I guess that's something. I mean, we have over four billion of them. 
But I do see that maybe this is where the obstacle course is. There's a lot of these little blue pads everywhere. Hmm. Okay, so I see a number of things. First off, more stuff that way. That is definitely at the end of an obstacle course. But for now, I don't wanna worry about that. I wanna play as Frank Honey. You need a wheel to operate this. Well, I'm gonna look for one. Oh, there's a jetpack thing there. There's stuff all over the place on this, on this building. I did miss some stuff down this way, it seems. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to bring this towards the little pile of leaves, which will assuredly give us something. Uh, The wheel, yeah, that's right, <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So I'll pick this up, what is this supposed to do? I don't know. Because usually whenever you find something like this, it's really obvious what it's going to do. Oh, I see the little gas there. It's like noxious gas that might uh, damage us. Not anymore, that's for sure. Okay, cool. I saw these two blue studs. And then there's still the jetpack thing. We move over to the astronaut. And this will just bring me up here. But there's a lever. Ooh, lever. I wanted to, oh, maybe, oh wow, it opens up this hatch. What in the world? Uh, okay, there's a trail of studs. I wanna get all of them. <laughs> what is happening right now? What, was that it? Really? Okay. That felt oddly pointless. Hmm. I'm still looking for the other things I can color with the, the red color gun. I don't know, I'm, I'm not really finding it very well, which is concerning. Hmm. Let me go back out around this building. Cause we already were in here, this is where we found the color gun and nothing else. Can't go inside this little window. Okay. And I just gotta go front, center, and back of this building. I was already on top of it and sort of found what I could. So there might be more on the other sides and stuff. Yeah, the, this area is so huge. I'm gonna try to tackle one area a day because I feel like that's just sort of the best thing we can do. Clearly you can get inside of there. It's just a matter of how. Can't walk into the door. That's sort of weird. You think that if the door's open, you should be able to head inside. But you can't in that situation. So this is a different building. I don't wanna focus on that building yet. So what can I do to open this garage door? I mean, I've already gone in here and nothing really happened. Whoa, okay, I didn't wanna walk across the wall. All right, yeah, get me back over this way. So I really think that might be everything for now. We could travel up and over, because it seems like that, that was leading to something. But I feel like it'd be easy to explore this building first and then go do that. I just have to remember. Uh, let's hope I do. Uh, this has another color brick, I think. Got it. Almost 500,000, that's good. But I gotta say, there aren't really too many games like this where you can just explore a city. It's really fun. I mean, I feel like that's what makes this one probably one of the most unique LEGO games. And I feel like that's sort of my favorite thing about it is that there's tons of Lego games coming out soon that I definitely plan on playing, but I keep playing this one. Where's the firefighter, right here. Uh, because it's so much different than all the other Lego games, just in its setting, you know? Like all the other ones are like based on movies, or comics, or superheroes, you know the deal. Oh, okay, that just brought me here. Uh, okay. Well, I'll have to explore the building some more in a moment, but for now I might as well just check out the roof if I'm up here, if this is the only way to get up. Might as well take the advantage. But yeah, I know there's already some confirmed LEGO action happening later this year with uh, LEGO Incredibles. I'm so excited for that because Incredibles is a really cool movie. Uh, the new one's coming out, which is supposed to be Incredible 1 and 2, so that'll be great. A helipad, so now we can spawn in some flying stuff from this location. And there was also an astronaut thing I'm gonna check out. So there's another super build, 16 out of 65. And we unlocked the Hera, another cool helicopter and 118 gold bricks, so many. So what is this gonna be? Uh, gonna spawn in something, right? Weird. Oh, I can jump from somewhere. Is this just sort of a shortcut? Oh no, it's gonna bring me this way. Okay, whoa, oh, here we go. This is how we get up here. So what is this about? What character do I, do I need to be? I need to be a police officer. Oh, is this where I listen in? I think so. Uh, nope, wrong one. I need to be Frank Honey for this. Is his name Frank Honey? I always forget. No, I know his last name's Honey. But I forget his first name. So I'm supposed to be locating suspects. I mean, I see these suspects. A bunch of birds. 
But yeah, I think we're normally looking... Oh, 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 the arrow pointed me somewhere. This guy. No. You! Oh, okay. That's what the garage door is about. Oh, where are you going? You get back or you're still in that car! Oh, I know you are. So we gotta catch up to that guy. Whoa, where did this thing come from? I don't know, but I'll gladly take it. Thank you, helicopter. All right, so we're catching up to him now. Ow, okay, hold on. Honey, never got his license. I think it's Frank. Anyways, we're catching up to him real quick. Oh, oh boy. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Get back here. Look at this, like, no timer on this. You can just chase him across the city all day if you wanted to. The pain is getting back to where you were. Come on, come on, come on, I've hit him once. Can I hit him another time? He's actually outspeeding me right now. Whoa, whoa, you can't just do that. There was a double yellow. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. This is really tricky. Get out of the way. <laughs> beep, beep, the official police business. Oh, I turned off the, the police sirens. That's not what I wanted to do. Jeez, he is gone. I am like desperately trying to catch up to him and I'm not doing so well. Excuse me, everybody, out of my way. It was a surprisingly good driver with that U-turn he pulled. Okay, come on. Luckily with my speed boost, I might be able to make it back over to him. Might be a good idea to jump from one police car to another because I'll get another speed boost out of it, I think. So like, this is a police car I think we're coming up on, right? Uh, it is. I don't know, did they let you do that? I guess so. Even though I don't know if that was all that much faster. I might be able to catch up a little bit overall, but geez, he is just out there and I, okay, apparently pulling up the map totally stops your car. Get back here, you monster. You can't just run away from me like that. I'm the good guy. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna try to move around all of these people. It seems like if you 100% use all of your speed boost, um, it, you can't use it again until it's full, but if you only use parts of it at a time, that seems to be like you can start using it again whenever. Okay, so I think I made a good move there. Man, he's, no, he went that way. Oh no, I turned the wrong turn. Come on, come on, come on. Excuse me, everybody. I got a place to be. Hong Kong. Jeez Louise, I'm going all kinds of wrong way. I've lost him. The robbers escaped. Oh no. What's worse about that is I gotta go all the way back myself. Oh, I really wish there was a quick teleport in this game. But there isn't, as far as I understand. Wait, 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 oh, here we go. Return to police station. At least he got that. That's useful. But uh, there's no way to like teleport from other and any other place, which is a shame. All right, well, I guess I get to go ahead and try that again. Okay, so I'm back over this way. I'll go ahead and go up and do that race in a, a moment again. Oh, I've already done this. Okay, well, just has a blue stud. So I guess once you leave, all that kind of stuff restores. I, I don't think there's anything else I need to do around the building then, except for just get back up there and chase that dude down again. Like, geez, that was painful. Cause it was like, I tried so hard to catch up to him and it just, it wouldn't allow me. He just kept moving so quick. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a super challenging one or what, but uh, I'm just gonna try again and see if we can't uh, get up there. Let's use the astronaut, or not. And I gotta do all of that again, that's so weird. But I guess it makes sense. You know, we totally left that area. Apparently I'm still missing one gold brick in the police station, which is weird. I guess the police station is its own area that doesn't count as the uh, other thing. I wasn't aware of that. But yeah, launch across here again, and then uh, try this. And let's hope we can catch up in time this time, because it's you. You are the you are the culprit. You are making everything difficult. Oh man, this stuff is ridiculous. But at least we've you know we're still making decent progress so far in today's episode. It's not like we've been doing awful. Okay, see, I hopped off right away. Luckily, he'll just sort of wait there until you get into the car. Whoa! Wait a minute! Come on, that's not cool. Why did why did he do things things differently this time? Oh, you stinker! How am I gonna catch up to you if you go too quickly? Huh? That don't make any sense. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, I almost got him. Boop, got him a little bit. Come on, come on. Speed boosters, I need you more than ever. Got him, okay. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare get all wiggly on me. Oh, oh my. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, I gotta catch up to him. Okay, he's pinned, he's pinned. <laughs> okay, we got him, we got him, boom. That was much easier this time, because he ran into the, ow! We got run over two. Vehicle robbers rested one out of 12, now two out of 12. Awesome, I did want to change my character. We also have unlocked the Sphinx. God, I swear that we have unlocked that before, but maybe not. And we got our 119th golden brick. So, I'm gonna go back that way, so that I can uh, change my character. Because I am getting a little tired of playing Frank, honey. 
Gotta be honest with you, this bike is really quick. Should have rode a bike the whole time. Would have been better. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and change our character just because I'm getting a little sick of it. And then we'll keep exploring that building. I mean, I really, I don't think there's too much more we could do. So we could go ahead and, uh, hmm, something. Uh, we'll play as Grace Makepeace. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know what the quickest way to get over there is, but you know what, I'm just gonna hop off. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think we did everything, well, that's right. We had the one color gun thing we filled in over this way, but I'm still looking for more. So what color is my color gun right now? It's purple. So let me go ahead and fix that now before I run into what I was supposed to run into and I don't have it and I'll be like, oh darn. So do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get to the top of that building and do more of what seemed to be an obstacle course. Uh, Get back to you. Got it. So what I need to do now is get back to the top of this building. You'd think that somebody would be questioning us, like, hey, why are you running around this building? It's like, oh, there's money on there. Like, well, just because it's there doesn't mean it's yours, Chase. <laughs> We're gonna have to bring you to jail. How ironic. Oh, boy. Okay, I made it. Ha <laughs> ha, that was awesome. So yeah, uh, well, this isn't quite what I wanted. I still think this is weird that there's this like, little thing in here that's just gonna give us studs. Like, I mean, great, awesome, but I feel like it's supposed to be something else. But it isn't. Okay, well, I'll take the free studs. So I need to, I know it wants me to get rid of this, but I'm just gonna go around it, because I've already done it, you know? I feel like it'd, it'd be a little annoying to do it again. Okay, so where's all of this going to lead? Where is it going to end? We're trying to find out. I gotta get up here, and then up here, then up here, and then, oh, hey, secret character we got! A, Allie, J, Jace, Jake? Something like that. Sorry if I mispronounce it. Uh, oh, and there's a rainbow brick up this way. I'll just quickly grab this one. So we are traveling atop a lot of buildings that I should go back and explore properly. The one thing I really appreciate about Auburn, Auburn so far is that the buildings aren't as tall. So it's easy to sort of see from the ground which ones you have explored the top of and which ones you haven't and just doesn't get so messy. Okay, we're in here. Uh. Doesn't look like I can do too much except for go up here and crack the safe. And then should just instantly crack, yep. Yeah, there we go. So that was just more rainbow bricks. So I did all that just for a couple rainbow bricks. Sort of underwhelming, but it happens, it happens. So yeah, I don't see too much going on with this building. I feel like we've basically fully explored this thing. So what I'm gonna do is turn back around and explore these two. And we're just gonna keep working with that until it seemingly we got everything. I, mean, I did do this, yeah, I do remember. It just undoes itself because it's silly. There's a heart up there if I needed it, but I don't. We have six hearts. We don't lose health in this game very often. I can't remember the last time we actually lost all of our health. Oh, there's a fire we can take out. I don't know if that's a barbecue fire, so I don't know if that counts for that completion. But I haven't really take to, taken a look at that stuff. If I uh, take a look by pressing triangle, you can tell that we're uh, in total, you know, we're missing 11 characters, two cars, a red brick, uh, what is that, 20 or 17 golden bricks, another robbery, an ATM, an alien, two flowers, like tons of stuff. So we got tons to do. I don't think we're gonna complete it all in today's episode, but I'm sure it's not gonna try to get as far as we can. Uh, somebody's telling me howdy. Uh, and this. So what's in the garage? Uh, vehicle robbery challenge. Drive the vehicle to the lockup, sure. That should be good. The only problem with this, once again, is that we'll have to teleport back in one way. This looks like Chase vehicle. Is it really any different? I don't know. We're gonna find out. So, I gotta drive this somewhere. It's the Enberg. Okay. Looks pretty cool, I love this song. Pretty cool car chasing music. We've heard it before, but, oh geez. I don't know why I went all slow motion there. Okay, so, where exactly are we riding it to? Okay, so we are trying to get to the bridge. So I'm gonna shortcut this. I sort of don't like how the game continues moving even when you pause it. I think this might be a faster route. Maybe not the fastest, but I feel like it was slightly faster than what they were giving us. Especially if I just go right through. Yeah, I can just cut through this way. Yeah, this was faster then. All right, excuse me, everybody. Oh wow, they are really trying to get to me. Luckily, I haven't lost any health yet. So our cars take less hits than we can at four health instead of six. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, we can collect all these sat nav stats. I don't know how much they give us, but it looks like. 20, 30, 40,000 or something like that. It's a lot. Oh, this is great. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get a ton just by driving. 
That's, that's really exciting. Now I sort of feel like I should just travel this way. I mean, I never will ever need this many studs, so maybe I should just do whatever's quickest. That way we're, I'm saving everybody some time. So I can cut across this way, maybe. Uh, we're about to find out. That was a good idea. That was a fine idea. Plenty fine. Awesome, excuse me police officers, I've already lost one HP. I don't wanna lose any more. Okay, so it's telling me to go that way, so I am going to go this way. Because I'm just such a rebel. Oh gosh, there's some officers waiting for me. Keep going, keep going, keep moving. Excuse me everybody, I have places to be. Whoa, my car flipped, no! No, the, come on! Whoa, no, I was about to get back up. That stinks. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed abandon challenge. Wait, will it bring me back? I hope so. No! Oh, that is the worst. All right, so let's go back into here. We're gonna do the, the vehicle drive lockup or whatever again. And let's hope this turns out better. <laughs> I would really, really hope so. But who knows? Okay, so let's start driving. And let's get there. I mean, I just, I, I, that's super frustrating though that you have to walk back. I feel like that's like a huge design oversight. It's just like, oh, you messed up this race from where you started? Oh, you don't wanna go back to where you started? Okay, well, good luck. Oh, that guy was a jerk. Total jerk. But yeah, I mean, maybe I pressed the wrong button there. Maybe I pressed X when I was pressing press circle. If I mess it up again, I'll surely find out, but I'm gonna try my best not to mess up like that. It's just like when you flip your car over, like I was pressing all the buttons. There's like no way to flip back around which is just awful. But hey, at least we get more studs out of it, right? I just don't like how we've already taken some damage. Because we have to travel with this car pretty gosh darn far. That's why I want to use as many shortcuts as I can. Especially since, you know, we're doing this quite often, but it's sort of getting a little bit more familiar. I'm glad that didn't hurt me. I was gonna be really upset if it did. Hmm. Okay, seems like it might be good to like, cut into the driveway here if not for any other reason, but just to uh, maybe get the people who are chasing me off my tail and then go in this way. I remember doing this, this worked out, this helped. Didn't have to go the long way around. And I am passing some things I do have to remember about. We just like passed a jackhammer thing. Like I wanna remember that kind of stuff for them when I'm actually tackling this area. So this is where I fell, was right over here. So I have to be careful about how I cut through this. I wanna probably stay on the road or any kind of road I can manage. Yeah, I was right here on this fountain, so I'm gonna go very carefully through that. Okay, we made it. Excuse me, cars. Oncoming traffic. I don't appreciate it. Man, how far are we trying to go here, though? I don't know. Like, I don't know how much more we got. Oh, okay, so over that way. That makes sense. Now that I know where I'm going, it should make it easier. All right, where did they come from? I don't know. Oh, you mean the people on the sidewalk? I mean, what does it matter? It's supposed to be their lane to walk. Okay, so, oh, okay, we're getting close to it. Getting close to it. I do remember this. It's wacky, because it tells you to like loop around eight times, when all you have to do is just drive like that. Awesome, we did it! So, there we go. It's always the same drop-off station. Note to self. Okay, vehicle robbery completed. So I don't need to deal with anything in this area. But now we're gonna teleport back again. Isn't that just splendid? Okay, and 120th gold brick though, that is awesome. Is there a, it might be easier if I could find a train station around here, which there's not. Okay, well then the easiest thing I could possibly do is just teleport back over, or uh, teleport back over to the police station. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'm finally back. Oh my gosh, it's a story that never ends. Let's check this area out a little bit more. I do see this box. And that means if I run into that stuff again, I'm gonna have to redo the color gun. Like, ah, oh my gosh. I really don't like how that works. But that's how it works. So I just gotta keep it in mind. And I really haven't seen any other thing I've, I can color gun, which you'd think it would be just generally around the vicinity. But so far, not the case. And I've explored most of this, to be honest with you. We've been doing a pretty good job around this area, specifically. Okay, and this is where things get a little more complicated. There's a lot more buildings around here. I'm just trying to circle around the perimeter. We're already up on the top of this one. It gave us a rainbow brick, so I'm just sort of looking around it. There's not anything around it. I'm pretty sure we're done with these ones. There's no way I'm entering that building. I've already been to the top, like I said. So we are going to, I suppose, move to this next building over on this block. You can tell that there's a couple things going with this one. So it's sort of difficult to keep up with everything. Water. Uh. 
It's kind of water. Oh, oh, hey, look, that worked. <laughs> okay, with the fireman, I just fill it up and ta-da. What did that do? I mean, it gave us a place to swim. Okay. Was that it? Oh, there's one more right here, down here, right? Oh, you stinker. I don't have it right now, do I? I have purple. That is so baloney. Okay, so if I run into any other like car chase situation, I need to avoid it until like we're done with everything else. Can I not climb up this? There we go, there we go, there we go. Wee! Ooh, there's some jetpack stuff. Okay, so get up like that and check this out. We can go across this way to get on over there and get some rainbow bricks and stuff. This seems like a large stretch of buildings, which is good to know, I guess. I might just have to return here to uh, get everything. I don't see myself being able to do all of this right now. Especially when I fell down here. What's in that? Looks like there's another garage this way that I can't quite access, but soon enough, I'm sure. Oh, okay, let me quickly do this as well. I don't think this will be uh, anything super crazy. I think this is probably just gonna help us get over this fence in some way. Uh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, it's just water that sports upwards. It gets us over here. This is where the buildings get a bit more expansive. So before I do anything else, I'm inevitably gonna have to come back for the one uh, color gun thing. I might as well do it now, right? Seems like the smartest thing to me. And then if there's anything that's supposed to lead us out of this area, I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna leave it for later. Hopefully I can remember to. Uh, or I might just get carried away with that and just go for it. Whatever works. At least we're making progress, right? That's sort of the most important thing is that as long as we're you know making progress to some degree, you know, that's good. Okay, so break this open. You guys know the song and dance at this point. And then get you, change the color of the color gun, and move on to the other two, or at least the one I found. They're boxes of cherries. I don't understand why they're not red, but we're here to fix that. I mean, you'd think it would just be able to replace them with these cherries right here. But no, that's not what they want. You gotta do it their way. Okay. So, uh, anything else up here? Like, this is like a little parking lot. And I guess I've really poked around here enough to know that there really isn't much more. I'm getting pretty turned around. I wasn't over there at all. Yeah, not at all. I will explore that stuff sooner or later, but man, there's just so much to explore. Can't blame me for getting a little confused, right? Yeah, we did this, which did basically nothing. Uh, I mean, I already filled the pool of water. Can I fill it more? Uh, no. Okay, well, that's fine. Can we color this? There we go, two out of three. So I need to find a third one of those sooner or later. But for now, there's that done. So now I can actually feel a whole lot more comfortable with exploring everything else around this building. And get back up this way. And I guess explore this stuff. We have the jetpack thing, which I already did. But this is like more of the endurance track, really. I was already up there, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Get across like this, and boom, we're down here. And with this, I see a rainbow brick, and that seems to be it. Yeah, I wish it was like sort of a better teleport feature more than just the train. But the train's great, don't get me wrong, but there definitely could have been better options. I guess I was supposed to go this way? I mean, there's certainly stuff here. Here, let me get back up. Come on, get out of the water. Because I want this brick of rainbowness. I and mean, we have half a million of those super bricks. I don't know how much more we need, but. I'll take them as much as I can. So there is a secret character right here. That one was pretty easy to get. That was uh, Henrik Kowalski, so Natalia's father. Cool, the scientist. Doesn't seem like there's too much more in this area. Well, actually, there's like the ground this way. Hmm, this area is so expansive though. Like there's like so many little details and everything in this game. It's just tough to explore it all, but it's worth it because you get completion. And I love completion. I don't know if we're even like past 40%. Like, at this point, the percentage meter, it climbs very slowly. What is with the, this grass looks odd. Well, there was nothing about it that actually happened. Okay. Before we go to that building, I might wanna go back up here. I mean, 
there is like a number of things we can explore with this section. And that's sort of what I was trying to do is this section, like one block at a time is really what I'm looking for. So like we did this block and then we did that block and then we're gonna do this block and then that one and then these ones and then go back over here and do these ones. That's sort of my goal. Uh, will that happen very easily? Probably not. It doesn't seem like anything happens very easily so far in this game, but I'll do what I can. I did see one of the, the coffee cup things there and there's two of those in Auburn from what I remember. So that'll be a point of interest, is to get that. Even if there was only one of them, I still need to get both of them. Maybe the obstacle course heads this way, because there's gonna be an obstacle course, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Yep, there is one. And I think it's somewhere around here. We just have to find the activator for it. I'm not gonna do this the way the game tells me to, if I can avoid it, because the, the way the game tells me to is usually rather slow. There's a number of things going on around here, but I just, none of it doesn't seem very useful. Hmm. Okay, so we were already at the front of this building. There wasn't much to do. But I could hop over like that. Is this where the coffee cup is? It is, okay. Awesome. So one coffee cup for me, please. I don't typically drink caffeine, but I'll make an exception. Awesome. So there's one out of two for this area. Coffee break completed, two out of 20 in total. And then we have something up this way. Uh, I don't know if I'm playing the right character at the moment. So yeah, let's try this. And get up on top of this building, which really doesn't seem like there's much. There's an astronaut thing. So, we'll check that out. Oh, this will teleport me somewhere. Oh, over there, I see it. Okay. I'm sure this isn't the only way we could have gotten up here, but it's an audio thing. So let's move over to our police officer lady and see what we can listen in on. Uh, oh, bunches of stuff. Um, excuse me. Yes, ma'am? Could you tell me how long the next train will be? Certainly. Three carriages. Okay. Uh, what? My train left without me? How did that happen? It happens all the time, buddy. Not when you're the driver. <laughs> okay, remember, you need to get off the train when it reaches uptown. But don't worry, your Uncle George will be waiting for you there. Now, are you going to be a brave boy and give Mommy a kiss goodbye without crying? I'm 46, Mother. Now give me my bag lunch and teddy bear. <laughs> what a uh, mama's boy. Hi, uh, do you work here? I do. Great. Do you know when the last train is? Of course. I wouldn't be a very good station inspector if I didn't, would I? Dear me, what a silly question. Ah, uh, weird. Is this it? Oh, I think this is the one. Come on, come on, come on, Sammy, where you been? Sorry, I thought we were meeting on the other platform. I almost approached a group of tourists because I thought it was you guys in disguise. You idiot. Well, now everyone's here, we can head to the beach. <laughs> and kick over sandcastles? You betcha. Kicking over sand castles? <laughs> Not on my watch, you evil hooligans. Wow. Okay, so we got some villain stuff all the way back at the beach. We've already explored the beach quite thoroughly, but we get to do some more. Reach the Troublemaker's hotspot before time runs out. I'll do what I can, whoa. Okay, be careful. I am gonna have to get over there rather quickly. I know exactly where it is, it's just a matter of getting there in time. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, whoa, look at our sliding action. I probably should take a car. Ah, that would probably be the smartest line of action I can do. Especially with the only a minute left. This is a limo. Probably one of the worst cars I could have taken. But I only saw it from the front, so in my defense, I couldn't see it was actually a limo. We got a minute and a half. I think we'll be able to get there. As long as, do we have to reach there? Do we have to beat people up in that time as well? Come on, ready? Limo, jump! Whoa, that sort of worked. Sort of didn't. Okay, I don't think limos are made for off-road. Okay, I made it, I made it, I made it. Hey guys, I, I'm here. Come so what now? Gang. Let's ruin some holidays. Why would you do that? You guys are awful. There's nobody here. <laughs> All right, stop it right now. Oh gosh, I'm blasting you. I'm blasting you, see ya, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and arrest you. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I, I blasted them. They didn't do too much. Come on, I'm gonna throw you into your friend so I can arrest this dude. I guess I gotta go over there and arrest you now. Got it, and I got two more to deal with. You didn't have to steal, you stole the fun times of the uh, of everybody on the beach, which is just me at the moment. 
<laughs> okay, come on. There we go. I'm gonna finish you up as a bar- uh, as a farmer. Not a barber. No, I almost said barber. Gangs arrested two out of 16. That's another thing done. Is also, there's still somebody in my limo. Sorry for the diversion, sir. Had to beat up a couple hooligans. Back on our way. Where are we going? We'll find out later. Oh, stunt jump. Yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, you gotta find yourself a new limo driver. I'm out of here. <laughs> wow, that, what an interesting turn of events this has been so far today. So I gotta get all the way back to that that vehicle, but not the villa, the bu building. I don't, I was already in a vehicle. Okay, so yeah, there doesn't really seem to be too much. I feel like I've pretty much thoroughly explored all that I can around here. All I need to do is go back to that building, because the building that I found the audio listening thing to, there definitely was more there. So if I could get up there again, I'm almost positive there was more stuff. I probably shouldn't say definitely, because every time I think, oh, there's definitely things there definitely isn't, I'm usually wrong both ways. But I should be able to jetpack across the street from here if I time it just right. Yep, okay, cool. So I, do I wanna go this way? I can't remember, I think it'd be better to go up this way. I did do the uh, coffee cup thing. And I already used the astronaut, this is where I was before. Oh, but there's plenty of stuff over this way. As you can see, looks like we can be the uh, firefighter and break this stuff open. What is in here? Just a rainbow brick. We're looking for a red brick still, right? Yep, we still haven't found the red brick in this area, but it could be just about anywhere. These areas are huge, so easy to miss stuff. Hmm. Okay, so we were already over this part. So I guess that's where this ends, is don't, <laughs> that's not what I wanted you to do. So move back to the astronaut, get up this way, and I, I suppose that's it for this building. I really don't see too much more about what I could do, unless there's something on this side but I've already been on this side. There is sort of like a, you know, a below ground floor where there could be something. So I should check that out, but I was already on this side. Okay, well, glad I tried. Hmm. Okay, so there really isn't much around here. So we've finished up this block then, basically, and we can move on to the next one. Oh, is this a fire building here, or is this a factory? No, it looks like a factory. Thought maybe it was like a uh, firefighter building. I don't really, like this building doesn't seem like it has too much of interest at first glance. But that might change. See, this is a cute little car. What kind of car is this? The crater. Looks like a crate. I don't see any way up. Like, this is the kind of building that's really weird because it looks like it has literally nothing of interest. Like on any side of it. I haven't found anything that's like you can climb up or anything you can do around here. Maybe this is a building that just sits here. And that's definitely possible. Most buildings just sit there. I see a pig on the top of that one. But I don't really see anything of interest that I could possibly do in this factory building. So I'm gonna assume that there isn't, because what else am I to do? I'll, I'll give it one last look from the front. Hmm. Like there might still be something like in the parking lot. There's another nice looking car. But I don't see any way up there. And it doesn't look like there's anything up there to get anyways. If I hop into here, and drive this as the schmoozer. I guess this isn't as cool as I thought it would be. I mean, it's a convertible, which is nice. Okay, this is the the block of buildings I wanted to check out now. There's a concrete maker, oh, look at this. You know, by the description of the name, it, it is used to make concrete. So this building we were on top of, scare the pigeons for no reason, because I'm mean to pigeons and I shouldn't be. But yeah, this building is definitely where there's new stuff. I see a lever in there that's probably gonna open up this garage door. I, mean, I don't know what's gonna be inside this garage door. We're on the second floor. Definitely not a car, it'll drive right off. We're gonna find out. Oh, there's a fire, okay, well, luckily we're already the firefighter, we can get rid of that. Haven't found the barbecue in this map yet. Is there one, actually? Barbecue fires. Oh, actually, no, I have gotten the one barbecue fire. Okay, cool. <laughs> one last thing I gotta do. Hmm. Oh, hey, look at that, we unlocked, what's your name? Deborah Graham. She's a, uh, I think her and Frank Honey have like a crush on each other or something. Anyways, we're up here now. I do see a couple things we can do, we can run across, oh, come on, that was not very uh, full f v finesse, I guess is a way to explain it. Hold on, let's go ahead and do that. Graceful is another word. That was the word I was looking for and totally forgot it. I was not very graceful. 
Okay, awesome. Doesn't seem like there's much up here though. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks like there is some kind of super build. Auburn chimney. <laughs> Incredibly interesting. Great. <laughs> well, we got the Auburn chimney. Actually, this thing looks pretty cool. It's an interesting noise. Oh, there's a character at the top of it. Well, I'm certainly gonna try to get that. Oh wait, give me all those studs too. Super build constructed. Another one out of 65. So what is this about? Uh, this door surely has something inside of it. He would have had nothing. And it's just another rainbow brick, which I'll gladly take. It helps me earn back what I spent there, which I probably earned back more there than what I actually ended up spending in total. Okay, so can I just, whoa, whoa, it just pushes you upward. That's sort of weird. We unlock the hazmat guy. Cool. So I could make my way over to that building. Have I explored everything? Everywhere else though, it's hard to tell because the camera won't let me sort of turn it right now. Uh, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be making all of these moves, but I feel like there's more we can sort of search around on this button before we use, oh, here we go. This is what we use the uh, thing for. Okay, I'll just break this open for my own convenience if I could actually get over it. Ready, jetpack, jetpack. Oh, you can't. Well, that's weird, because there's other ways to get inside of here, it seems. Uh, but yeah, before we use the chicken to get to another building, I wanna make sure that everything in this building is properly explored. Well, at least as much as I can manage. So what does that get it for us? An open area with just another rainbow brick. Uh, so many areas, where I'm like, oh, this is gonna get us something good, right? No, just a rainbow brick. I mean, like, they're useful to some extent, but I need much more. Was well, there anything in this bottom part? That really is a whole lot of nothing to you know blow up with a uh, TNT. But I guess they really do want to try to like fill up every spot of the map. So I actually do think that's mostly everything for this building. Because we were already over down here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well, we figured it out as much as we could. I can just get across like that. Don't even need any of the boost pads. The jetpack is just that awesome. So yeah, let's uh, turn to the farmer and start gliding with our chicken. And onto this building. And I see the pig at the end. Awesome. And I can see that there's also the little shed there. I don't know if there's anything we could really do with the shed, but it had like little blue things as if you could walk on top of it, which usually means there's something, either it be studs or a super rainbow brick or maybe something else. Like, yeah, that shed with the green roof. Okay, so, whoop, whoop. We are the acrobat farmer. Nobody is more graceful than we are on the farm. I, mean, I don't know how many, how graceful farmers normally are. I don't think it's supposed to be like ballet. Oh, here we go, there's finally that. You have unlocked free run. So we'll go back and do that one, probably to finish off today's episode, because it's getting quite late. Uh, but first, can I ride the pig? Yeah, okay, it didn't teleport me back. That's good. Riding the Lego pig. Where? This way. Oh yeah, I remember the pig cannons this way. It's all coming back to me now. So we're gonna go ahead and plop you on in. Pigs move pretty quick in this game. All right, Mr. Pig, it's been fun, but you gotta go. Back to the farm with you. Uh, I gotta use the chicken. <laughs> this is so weird. That's another pig complete. I think there's actually two pigs in this area as well. I could be wrong though. Uh, pigs returned, three out of 22. Awesome. But uh, let's quickly check. Is that all the pigs? Uh, that's all of them, okay. Good stuff. Well, that's one last thing I have to worry about, which I'm glad to take. But yeah, I guess if there's anything we can do to finish up today's episode, I'll be doing that free run because it's sort of in an area where we've covered everything else. We might as well do that to finish it all off. It might be tough to get all the way over there though, that's for sure. See, there was nothing on the shed of interest at the least. Cause like, I, while I am very interested in having a lot of studs, what is with this wall? Can we break through that wall? That sounds cool. I wanna try that too, really quick. There's always so many police cars. Hmm. I mean, I don't really need a police car, though. whatever car I can get. Sorry, so if that's a uh, tow truck, let's try this. Oh boy. Ah, that was cool. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing for us, but that's okay. Yeah, the free run's over here. Okay, it's not as far over as I thought it was gonna be. So I guess that's why this area was so empty. Let me go ahead and break it with the dynamite then. While we have the opportunity, 
Got the dynamite guy right here. Break that on open. Be careful, watch out, civilian, and welcome past TNT. Oh no, are you okay? Well, don't run towards the, the source of the explosion, lady. That's the worst thing you could do. Okay, so, free run. Complete free run to cor free run course. Before the time runs out, collect clocks for extra time. I would love to. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right, so there are probably the same amount of clocks as before, right? Or is there more? There is seven, yep. So I will try to get as many as I can, like this one, and then I'm supposed to go up that way, but if I can make this quicker for myself in any any sort of way, I'm going to take it. That'll just make it easier for me. Just like that, already down the three clocks remaining. I hope I didn't miss any. I don't think I did though. I mean, they will give you extra time, but it doesn't seem like you get anything extra for getting them. I just feel satisfied when I do. I mean, I don't know where any more are. Okay, so I do need to use the uh, farmer for this. I only have 30 seconds, so I better do this quick. I mean, there might be, there's one. I don't see where the others are. <laughs> That's okay. It works however it works. All right, come on, Mr. Chicken, you can do it. Just keep gliding, keep gliding. Oh boy. Okay, okay, we're gonna get that time bonus. Maybe I really do need this time bonus. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be so much quicker just to do this. So much quicker. There's another one. So that's going to be six out of seven. We're already back up to 40 seconds though. And here's the last one. Okay, we found them all. Awesome. Okay, so we got it without too much of a sweat. That free run is completed. Ow, I hit the desk. Okay, so that's three out of 19 done there. And our only one needed for this area, we have unlocked Doc's Foreman. And we got another gold brick. So many of those in today's episode. So very many. So, how are we doing it in all? We've made some decent progress. We only need like one more vehicle left unlocking, but there's just still so much left to explore in this tiny little area. It doesn't seem very large, but man, there's a lot to do around here. So we gotta explore these buildings more. I think, yeah, we already explored that one. And then these ones back here, but I think that is mostly all stuff we're gonna save for the next episode of Lego City Undercover. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Astronaut Zebra so that you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.